If I had to describe 2021 in one word, that word would be chaotic. Though some of the games that are found on my top five list reflect that energy, these games have really shaped my year to become a great one. We decided here at PIP to make our game of the year just a little bit different by not only including games that came out this year, but ones that just inspired us, thrilled us, and even just got us excited about video games. So without further ado, here are my top five games of 2021. I always find myself drawn to ocean and water-based video games, and Wavetail was no exception. This charming adventure game follows the story of Secret and her grandmother Doris as they explore the archipelagos of the once lively Strandville while discovering the answers to untold secrets above and below the surface. Though I knew little of what the game was when I first dived in, I was instantly drawn to the beautiful stylized art, the quirky characters, and most of all, the mechanics. I was so captivated by the surfing ability gliding around the first island, I completely lost track of time. It brought me so much joy and excitement, it had me hooked. While this game may have slipped under your radar as well, I hope it glides into your must-play list. As an artist, Behind the Frame had me the moment I saw the trailer. When I had the chance to play, I was blown away by the beautiful imagery. Not only with the visuals, but with the music and the story. It made every frame, angle, and scene a piece of art. You get a strong sense of Studio Ghibli's inspiration and style throughout that makes the experience even more whimsical and captivating. Silver Lining Studio has created a lovely narrative puzzle game of a young woman who's an aspiring artist trying to complete her masterpiece that has not escaped my mind since I finished it. I believe everyone is creative in their own way, just like I think everyone will enjoy this short yet impactful game. What started as a game I was very reluctant to try, Final Fantasy XIV has swiftly taken over my life. While I have a long history with MMOs, none have truly resonated with me the way that this game has in such a short period of time. The storytelling is absolutely phenomenal, with its vast world building, beautiful visuals, captivating arrangements, and characters that you truly build a bond with throughout your adventures. I feel as though I'm actually part of the story as the Warrior of Light, fighting alongside the Scions as we end a battle that started long before I arrived. I know people say this all the time and you've heard this during our PIP Top 5 week, but I truly think that these characters and stories will stay with me for the rest of my life. I cannot thank Yoshi P, his team, and Square Enix enough for creating such a masterpiece of a game. Whether it is video games or board games, deck builders are one of my favorite genres of all time and Inscription has swiftly become one of my top recommendations. With its beautifully unnerving visuals, characters, and storytelling, Daniel Mullins has created something truly unique with this game. Inscription feels like an enticing book that I do not want to put down. I wanted to know more of what was going on to the point I played well past my non-existent bedtime trying to find answers. When the game was over, I just sat at my computer desk contemplating life and what I just experienced. I hope this short yet vague explanation of my thoughts on this game gets you wanting to play this game because I can tell you, you will not be disappointed. If someone were to ask me what my number one released game in 2021 was, Loop Hero would be my answer. As you fight through an endless loop of chaos that the Lich has plagued upon the world, you try to rebuild what little sanctuary you have left at your home base, while also strategizing what cards you need to take to ensure a successful mission back into the abyss. This rogue light strategy RPG has easily made it to the top of my list with its retro style, story, and overall unique gameplay. While I did not have the chance to play more games like this as a kid, I feel as though it brings back a nostalgia that I never had the opportunity to experience. If you haven't played it yet, I cannot recommend this game enough. Also, will I take credit for the fact that two of my hosts have this game on their top 5 list because of me? Yes, yes I will. I just want to end this video by thanking everyone who joined us here at Point in Progress over the past year. Whether it's these top five videos, our reviews, the main podcast, Fantasy in Progress, our live reactions, and more. I will admit I was a little bit nervous recording my audio during this video because it's not something that I'm used to, but I really always wanted to do something like this, so I look forward to creating more content as this has kind of just been a boost of confidence to do so in the new year. Also, thank you so much, Mario, for creating this video and the visuals and getting all these videos together for us. 
You have been a complete rock star and we would not be able to do this week without you. Once again, guys, I cannot wait to enter the new year with all of you and be able to experience all these exciting new games to come. And I will see you next time.